Today, we'll demonstrate a breathing technique that has tremendous benefits for your mind and your body. Yes, my friends, today we're talking about Brahmri Pranayama, also known as Humming Bee Breath. And if you stick around until the end of the video, we'll give you a technique to make this Brahmri Humming Bee Breath 10 times more effective for you. So this is a practice video, so we won't talk about the benefits. If you want to check out the benefits and the science behind it, please check out on this video. But let's begin. So first, we want to find out how to sit. You don't have to sit in cross-legged position if it's not comfortable for you. You can sit on a stool, a chair, but keep your legs crossed. And if you're sitting cross-legged, of course your legs are crossed. Keep your spine straight and keep your chin just a little bit 15 degree or 10 degree from the ground. So this is your posture. So bring the spine straight. You can bring the arms up just like this. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And now allow the arms to come down. Come into chin mudra. Bring the thumb, index finger together. And we begin with the breath of fire. When we pair the Brahmri Pranayama, humming bee breath, with the breath of fire, it becomes 10 times more effective. And we'll tell you why. So we'll start with three rounds of breath of fire first. So for breath of fire, you're gonna pump your stomach 15 times, and we'll do two rounds. And every time you pump your stomach, allow the breath to come in naturally. So let's begin. First, breathe in fully. Exhale fully. Now breathe in halfway. Exhale, exhale. Go a little bit faster now, 15 more times. Exhale all the way out, all the breath out. Bring your chin to your chest. Continue holding the breath. And now inhale fully. Replenish your body, hold the breath in, allow the body to extract oxygen and carbon dioxide from this breath. Hold the breath in. Close your eyes, sit in meditation for 15 seconds. Amazing job, exhale. And now inhale and exhale normally. Allow the body to come back to its normal breath. And now we're gonna start with the second round of breath of fire. This is gonna be a little longer. So just follow along the rhythm. Inhale fully. Exhale fully. Inhale halfway. Now exhale. Faster. Amazing. Ten more times. Continue. Exhale fully. Allow the belly to go in. Hold the breath out. Amazing, chin to chest. Inhale. Hold the breath in. (sighs) 
and now sit in meditation for 30 seconds. Close your eyes, sit in chin mudra, chin just a little bit up, raised. Slowly as you start to open your eyes now, we shook the energy. Now we're going to channel this energy in our solar plexus all the way up to our third eye chakra and the seventh chakra. So this is called Brahmari Pranayama. So you're going to bring your thumb to push the pr protruding part of your ear. Bring your first finger, long finger on your eyes third finger on the bridge of the nose and the little pinky finger just slightly touching your mouth. Inhale fully and as you exhale start to hum. Seal your lips and create the sound of so let's begin inhaling for five, four, three, two, one. Amazing job. Five more times. Inhale. Amazing. Bring this vibration right there on your third eye. Create an imaginary line between your ears and then go up two inches. Four more times. Close your eyes and sit in meditation for 30 seconds. And as you open your eyes, feel the new energy you have created about yourself. See, Brahmri Pranayama has a lot of benefits. And from the science perspective, it creates nitric oxide, which is a vasodilator. And it's beautiful for your whole circulatory system. More nitric oxide you have, better your blood flow in the system is. So as you age, the nitric oxide organically goes low in the body. So we can compensate 15 times more nitric oxide into your blood just through proper humming. And we told you in the beginning of the video that if you pair this Brahmri Pranayama with the breath of fire, then you can make this humming breathe 10 times more effective. See, our energy is stored in our lower chakras. So with the breath of fire, when we're pumping our belly with rapid breaths, we are shaking this energy. And now all this energy is shaken. Now with Brahmari Pranayama, with the humming bee breath, we are bringing this energy for the higher chakras all the way up. So wherever your attention goes, that's where the energy starts to flow. 
So first our attention is here in shaking the energy and in Brahmri Pranayama, when we pair with humming bee breath, our attention goes here and we create a vibration, a resonant vibration, which resets your whole endocrine system. So I hope this pranayama benefits you. What yoga is for your body, this Brahmri Pranayama is for your mind. So do this for 21 days and you'll have a brand new body and new mind. Until next time, my name is Abhi Dugal. Namaste, peace and love.